Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Y'all look at my hair. Uh, definitely got the Kris Jenner, Justin Bieber, Ellen DeGeneres, all that. <laughs> all that's going, but y'all, what's up? I'm Valerie. If you're new here, I'm Valerie. Hey girl, what's up? If you're not, hey. Uh, what y'all been up to? Welcome back to the vlog. Happy 2021, everybody. Happy New Year. Um, uh, yes, yeah. so I'm about to answer some questions for y'all. It's the new year. We got to do a new get to know me because I've been seeing questions in my comments. Um, I did one like get to know me on my one when I finally reached 1k subscribers. Y'all check that video out if you want to get to know me. Um, there's some information there, but it wasn't too much information because I kind of was doing a mukbang and I was hungry and all that. So here we are. We about to do one for 2021. Like I said, I'm going to answer some questions that I've been seeing in my comments that I just haven't answered. And then I'm going to answer some questions that were actually sent to me last year that I didn't get to in the uh, Q&A mukbang that I did for my 1K subscribers. So uh, let's get into it. The first question is, where are you from? And bitch, I'm from Cleveland. Like, <laughs> if you're from Cleveland, you already know that song, Bitch, I'm from Cleveland. It's a rapper that made that song. And ever since when everybody talks about Cleveland, we always say, bitch, I'm from Cleveland. It's even a clothing line now out and um it's, it's a cleveland thing but to be uh cleveland is a a, a larger city it's like uh it's kind of ghetto I, i'm gonna have to say that it's a little ghetto it's like the detroit of michigan but i'm actually i'm from shaker heights y'all i'm from shaker heights ohio um and uh, it's a small suburb right outside of cleveland and I grew up there. Uh, this is like the same city Halle Berry is from. So if you're familiar with all of that, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I grew up in a small suburban uh, city of Shaker Heights. Um, and Shaker Heights is kind of ghetto now. The inner city has moved in. Um, the landlords there have let the inner city folks move in. And it is really ghetto. So we actually have relocated further out we didn't move so far out that there is like no public transportation that's how far out that we live so if you trying to get away from the ghetto you gotta move either <laughs> gotta move far out but anyways let's go on to um some more questions and that is how many siblings do i have y'all i have two siblings i am the oldest of three okay so, uh, and we're all girls, four girls. So I'm the oldest, I'm Valerie, I'm the oldest. Then we have the middle sister who is Maria and we have my youngest sister, Holly. And Holly is actually, my, biologically, she's my cousin. My mom adopted her since birth. We had her since birth, so she is my sister. Um, but yeah, biologically, she's my mom's sister's daughter. She's my cousin. <laughs> So um, that's that on that. So yeah, I have two sisters, and both of my sisters have one son and one daughter. So and all so all of three of all three of us have two children. I'm the only one that has two girls, and my two sisters have one boy, one girl. So yeah, <laughs> that's that on that. Then my mom, um, there's my mom. If you want to know, I have my mom. My mom was married to my dad, and um, my sister has a different dad. So, that's another story for another time. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to question number three. <laughs> How many children do I have? I already answered that. I have two children. I have my oldest daughter who is 18. Then I have my youngest daughter who is going on two. She'll be two in April, my sweetheart. That's my favorite one. My youngest one is my favorite baby. So, uh, baby royalty. She'll be two in April, y'all. Time flies. So, I'm so grateful for her. Uh, I'm grateful for both of my children. <laughs> y'all, my oldest one gets on my nerve, but I still love her. Ooh, but I'm telling you, she's, she's nerve-wracking. So, um, yeah, next question. <laughs> the next question would be my religious beliefs, my political beliefs. Um, 
am like pro pro life, pro choice. I am both pro life and pro choice. Um, as far as my political and religious beliefs, I've studied theology. I practice many forms of theology, and um, at this point, I'm just nonconformist. Uh, I'm going to try my best to follow the Ten Commandments, and um, hopefully, I go to everybody's heaven because I. <laughs> I don't have time to be trying to decide what day I'm going to rest, what day I'm going to pray, uh, which way I'm going to pray, um, what I'm going to eat, what I'm not going to eat, uh, what I'm going to wear, how I'm going to wear it. Um, that is something that, in my opinion, through my travels, um, does not matter. Um, I think that the only thing that really matters is your personality is your, is your is your is your heart and your personality um so and your character your character I, I when i say personality i mean character i judge people off of their character and that is all that really matters to me so um yeah and then when it comes to politics um i make my decisions off of uh, facts so, so there are some Democrats that I like and there are some Republicans that I like. And those decisions have been formed off of the facts that have been presented to me. Um, so I would say nonconformist when it comes to those subjects, those topics. All right. Uh, so moving along, uh, the next question. Next question. Okay, the next one is a fun one. What are my hobbies? Um, you all may not know this, but I really, really enjoy cooking. I love cooking and I love eating. Uh, I, through my travels, I have grown to love Indian food, um, West Indian food or Jamaican food, Trinidadian food. I love uh, Ethiopian food. Oh my gosh, I love Ethiopian food. Um, I definitely love, have a love for soul food. I have a love for Indi uh, Italian food, French food, Asian uh, cuisine. I love food. I love to experiment with spices. I love to cook. Although I haven't cooked in a while, um, and with everything going on, I've just kind of lost touch and I haven't been in the mood to cook, but that is a passion of mine. That's something I genuinely love to do. Um, so that's a hobby of mine. Also, I love to travel. I love, love, love to travel. I love getting to know people. I love hearing stories from people, um, <laughs> interesting stories from people. That is something that I genuinely love to do besides um collecting new experiences wonderful memories um and trying new things that is a hobby of mine as well and right now those are about all of my hobbies making youtube videos uh yeah that's a hobby too i guess okay <laughs> so um yeah let's move along to the next question uh, the next question will be, what's the last goal that you've completed? The last goal that I have completed is actually um, making a YouTube channel. I had a list of goals about two years ago. It was make a YouTube channel, get monetized, and with the help of you all, thank you all for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, I have managed to reach that goal. Um, all of our hard work is paid off. I've been monetized, uh, uploading videos, and you all helping. Um, it was a finished college. I did obtain my degree. I did obtain a degree. Um, it was to fix my credit, y'all. I fixed my credit and fudged it right back up, but I'm not so distraught about it because I know how to fix it. So I'm in the process of rebuilding my credit right now. It's, it's easier than what you'd imagine. So <laughs> it was nothing to stress about when I got into a bind. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people experienced those problems in 2020, y'all. 2020 was did not come to play. Um, so yeah, with my credit at least anyway. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, what else? Um, a lot of goals that I guess the question was just what's a goal so a goal the one goal is I um, we managed to get monetized and create a YouTube channel and that's heading for a lot of success so yeah next question weirdest experience 
what is the weirdest experience that I've had? Okay, y'all. That this one, I, I didn't have some weird experiences, y'all. Especially because I like to talk to people. So people, people have told me some weird stuff. But for me personally, the weirdest experience I've had is I. Okay, so y'all know the Red Sea, right? The Red, the the Dead Sea, the Red Sea. So um, it's the largest body of salt. Well, it's the saltiest water, okay? On earth so when you go it's so salty that you kind of float in the water you don't actually like you can't really like drown okay so you float in the water It's so salty so I was in Israel I was visiting and I decided to go out to the water right so I'm in the water y'all tell me why I farted in the <laughs> I farted and I put it I passed gas in the water y'all and I guess your butt opens up when you poop. I don't know. Like, but after I pooed it, some water went into my butthole and it burnt so bad. Like it was, it was a burn. I was like, what? Like I jumped up out of the water, but like I was so kind of deep into it. Like I didn't really come up that much. So, <laughs> and somebody thought something bit me. You would have thought like a jellyfish stung me or something. I don't know. But like, that was like the weirdest thing. So, um, let that be a lesson to you. Don't poop in that water. Whatever you do, don't fart in that water. Don't go in that water with any open wounds because it will burn. I wonder if it'll heal fast. Is that water like healing water? Since it's burning, I don't know. Alcohol burn, I don't know. Now I'm just thinking of weird stuff. But anyway, yeah, that was like one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me, okay? Okay, so another question is, what do you do for a living? Y'all, I work in marketing research. Um, how can I explain it? Marketing research, companies hire us, the clients hire us, and we do research on what their products that they're marketing. So a company may have a new food product out and they need to test the um, products and see how customers would like it. So um, sometimes I do recruiting Well, I'll call people and say, Hey, do you want to come in and test this new product for this company? Um, you'll be compensated for your time. You'll also get to taste food. Um, sometimes I, these are the ones that I really like. This is what I really like is when I get assignments to go on site and do intercepts. And that's when, um, the company actually, um, companies are very accommodating. I mean, they'll pay, they'll, they'll compensate you for your travel, your, um, food, you get a per diem for your food. You're also getting compensated for your time. Um, and they make things really comfortable. I mean, your hotel, your flight, everything. So, um, companies will send me on site and I'll do intercepts, which is, um, where I'll stop people and I'll ask them, um, would they like to do a survey? And a lot of times, um, you'll be given a gift card or something will be um, given to you. You'll be compensated in some type of way for giving us the information that we're looking for. So I don't really have a, um, I, I actually enjoy stopping people and talking to them and getting their opinion on things. It's been kind of hard for us um, since the pandemic. It's kind of hard to approach people, especially when having to be six feet apart, things like that. So it has put a damper on the business. But it is a very fun job for me. I really love it. Um, I really like interacting with people and things like that. Um, so basically that is what I do for a living. <laughs> Long story short, that is what she does. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. The next question um, I see a lot is how do you, you have really youthful looking skin, you have really nice skin, how do you have such good skin? And I do have a skincare routine video on my channel. Be sure to check it out. My current skincare routine, that is still pretty current. There are a few new things that I've incorporated. Um, I've kind of went back and bought my old stuff, y'all, because I was on a budget where I was like slashing, using uh, drugstore products. So I, I still have a lot of drugstore products. I'm gonna do an updated skincare routine, but um, I am still using the items that are in that video. And then you also want to go ahead and check out um, my TCA pill video. 
that is another way to keep your skin looking nice and um, youthful. Check that video out. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to do an updated skincare routine for you all very soon. So no worries. Um, yeah, I'll get that to you. I promise. <laughs> Sooner or later, it's coming. Uh, okay. So um, next question. most embarrassing moment most embarrassing moment my most embarrassing moment i would have to be um say is i was at myrtle beach with my ex y'all this is my ex um <laughs> we're on a van family vacation at myrtle beach this is when i was like a daily weed smoker i was a weed kind of sore <laughs> if you would say <laughs> Now I I don't smoke weed daily, um, but at that at this point in my life I was like smoking weed a lot, and I was on vacation in Myrtle Beach. We had burned one in the hotel, and y'all if you've ever been to Myrtle Beach, you know there's a strip of hotels, strip of resorts right on the beach. We were staying in one of them. Um, I went out to the beach, and I the, it was a very hot day, y'all. I don't know what month it was, but we drove from Georgia to Myrtle Beach very short drive and i went in the water y'all i got in the water it was a very hot day i got in the water i had a two-piece on and i was i was geeked up I, I was so high i was having fun everything was good i was smiling i was laughing and i was waving at my my ex i was like hey babe hey babe <laughs> yeah because <laughs> listen I was so high like I jumped in the water the water was like up to here so I decided to like bend down a little bit more to get my whole self in because the water felt so good do y'all know when I came up my top was off whole top was off and I jumped up out of the water and it was like hey babe still waving at bay like hey babe and he waving back like no 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 babe no and I'm like so high that i'm like yeah like not really paying attention that he's telling me no and then he was like you know trying to tell me like your top is off so when i finally realized what he was trying to tell me y'all i jumped i dunked back in the water and had to find my top and like put it on in the water it was crazy like I was bent down in the water, like tying my top back on, and then I had to come out the water. And since it was such a nice day, the sun was out and everything, and the water was high, you know, it was a lot of people on the beach. I don't know how many people seen me, but yeah, that has to be like one of the most embarrassing. There has been some embarrassing moments for me, but that is like one embarrassing moment that I can remember, like one of the most. Okay everybody say I got I flash everybody this was not a new beach I mean kids adults everybody dogs cats everybody so yeah that happened <laughs> all right next question what would you say your biggest flaw is I would say my biggest flaw is that I, I'm a forgiving person, but once I forgive you, like you're cut, you're cut. Like I, I don't, and it goes for family, friends, you're cut. Like I, I don't have to ever talk to you again and I'm good. Like, and because of that, I've lost, like, I don't know if it's because I'm a Taurus and people be like, Taurus is, Taurus don't forgive anybody. Well, that's some information right there, y'all. I'm a Taurus. Okay, that's my that's my sign. I'm a Taurus, and people be like, Taurus don't ever forgive. Yeah, I'm forgiving, but um, my forgiveness does not include reconciliation. Okay, so we're not gonna reconcile, but you are forgiving. Like you're good, sweetheart. I'm good on you, but um, yeah, I've lost like family, friends, and I, I'm okay. Um, sometimes I do think about it, like, dang, like, but you know, it's these people that have been cut, like. When I thought about it, it was like, dang, let me kind of reconcile with them. I reconcile with them and they do the same thing. So you're cut, period. All right? <laughs> and that, I would have to say, is my biggest flaw. I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? 
<laughs> what do y'all think about that? Do y'all just cut people off and then let, I mean, like, forgive people and then that includes reconciliation? I don't know. In my opinion, in my book, in my experience, no. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? So, yeah. But, um, I will also say a flaw of mine is I don't like sharing my stuff. I'm a person that's like really big on if I share something with you it's because I want to share it but when it comes to like my stuff don't touch my stuff like don't touch my clothes don't touch my car don't don't get in my car touching stuff don't touch my food like don't I do I've never liked to share my stuff like I know my mom used to get on me like you can share that or let somebody she can come in your room like i'd be like this is my room don't come in my room these are my clothes don't touch my clothes this is my jewelry don't touch my jewelry don't touch my makeup don't touch like my oldest daughter that's the thing that we beef about the most is touching my stuff and what i feel like is people if i don't want you touching my stuff don't touch my stuff but if you allow me to touch your stuff that's on you if you want to share that's that's good for you but if I don't want to share, then I don't want to share. Then people be like, well, how are you going to say you don't want to share, but you expect others to share with you? I don't expect people to share with me. I ask, and if you want to share with me, that's cool. But I'm not sharing my stuff if I don't want to share it. I don't have to share. That's a choice. So <laughs> that's a lot. That's like a big conflict with me and a, like my family a lot of times is I don't like sharing. Don't touch my stuff. I'm really like don't touch my stuff so I would say that's probably like a flaw of mine and I can be real anal about certain things so <gasps> people call me bougie but whatever whatever okay yeah so let's just run through a, a couple let's do a couple let's run through a couple things all right weave no weave both um lashes no lashes both makeup no makeup both you know makeup or the fresh face y'all see me come on here with both it does not matter to me um what else um uh, rapper r&b both i listen to rap r&b classical country um indie i listen to everything if it's sounding good i'm rocking with it period okay uh, and uh, iPhone or Android, I prefer iPhone, but if it's a fire ass Android, I will use an Android. Like, if it's a nice, real nice Samsung, though, some of them Samsungs are really nice and the camera quality is great. That's what I'm mostly concerned about. So, um, yeah, both, but I prefer iPhone. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, let's see, club or homebody, both single single relationship both i enjoy i i've enjoyed a relationship and i've also enjoyed being single i don't mind either okay ratchet or bougie both i'm a little i can get ratchet <laughs> although people be saying i'm bougie i can get ratchet i can go there okay both white or brown liquor both i i both white or brown both i like me a good a nice little martini a nice little gibson it does not matter to me and i also like me a <laughs> i like some i like some cognac neat okay love it <laughs> so both um and then the last question let's get into the last question where do you see yourself in the next five years in the next five years I definitely would say that I see myself traveling more. Um, so I, I want to um, at least get through at least 25 more countries. Visiting 25 more countries. Um, corona ain't stopping nothing. People are still traveling. So that's not going to be an excuse. I'm going, um, yeah, 25 more countries down. Oh, yeah, definitely got to get 25 more stamps in the passport, period. Uh, I definitely see YouTube being my full-time career. Um, yes, in five years, that can definitely be achieved. We can, I, we can pull it together. In five years, this this should be about right. YouTube can be a career for me. Um, what else? 
probably definitely can see myself in a very happy relationship with a responsible man um preferably tall dork and handsome okay y'all because at this point my my soul may might be a white man i don't know <laughs> at this rate but okay uh tall dark and handsome man i see myself with more children i've always seen myself with having a big family i just love big families um so yeah i see myself with a um yeah and um definitely making some big investments i definitely would like to um see myself finally invested in some type of real estate um if not um purchasing a home for myself to live in one to um just purchasing real estate as a form of income and yeah all that good stuff y'all all the good stuff okay definitely um I definitely see myself being happy mentally you know healthy physically and um, I wish the same for y'all I wish the same for you I wish happiness and wealth and all the good stuff for you and your family uh, thank you so much for being here thanks for watching y'all make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff and I will see y'all on the next vlog. If there's a question that I did not answer, leave it in the comments. I'm going to try my best to answer those questions. I'm going to comment back, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Your girl getting ready to go to brunch. About to put on my little fur. My little fur jacket and get out of here. But, um, yeah, y'all, it's been real. Y'all be easy. Peace.